Hello gems, thank you so much for joining me. This will be a look at your energies for October 2021. It is a general reading guys, so it will not resonate with you all. Please use your intuition to see if it truly is your reading. If it is, do like, share and subscribe to the channel. Feel free to book a personal reading as well. That information should be below in the description. If this isn't your reading, please do not force the message to be yours. I promise you'll find the perfect reading here on YouTube if you just keep searching all right for the gemini's who this message is for let's get started guys all right gems pretty straightforward reading to be honest gems i genuinely feel that if there was someone in your past who didn't see your value someone who did not want to commit or just for some reason did not put down their anchor with you and that energy kind of forced you to create distance from them. If you know anybody like that, expect communication from them very, very soon, okay? I do sense that this person has not stopped thinking about you. There might even be a slightly, I'm not gonna say obsessive because that energy isn't here, but there is an overthinking quality to this energy. Um, I feel like this person has been a little bit stuck in their head, but there is also an energy of um, feeling like they've missed an opportunity with you, but struggling to communicate that with you for some reason. Um, I'm not sure what, oh, this could be the reason. You could also be dealing with someone who has a little bit of an ego or possibly some pride. And that is why they've struggled to just express to you how they feel, okay? I do sense that um, there has been some separation for some time uh, because this person, unfortunately, they weren't... They weren't serious in the past. Um, the Ace of Pentacles is in reverse. When I get a card in reverse, I always clarify it. The fact that it's in reverse is an indication that this person could not commit. They could not invest. They did not want long-term, very, very casual energies here. The fact that it's clarified by the Eight of Cups is an indication that you walked away from them because of these casual energies. Um, I feel like you're looking for something serious. Um, you're looking for someone who's coming in with the Ace of Pentacles, but unfortunately your person was reversed and now it's a missed opportunity, okay? Um, I feel like this person does understand that they created a little bit of damage. Um, they know that they hurt you. They could have been some sort of games or maybe because the Ace of Pentacles is in this reading, this person could have promised you engagement they could have promised you a commitment they could have said let's take it slow but eventually we'll get there but it never did and i think they understand that you might not be very happy with them um but i feel like nonetheless this person honestly hasn't been able to get you off their mind um i feel a little bit of regret with these energies um and i also feel like their pride and their ego is preventing them from fully letting you go i do sense that for a lot of my gems you're the one that walked away and that could be why they are sitting with a little bit of a bruised ego um they're struggling with their ego unfortunately this is not someone who is easily vulnerable gems um this is not someone who can easily open up maybe they've been through a lot when it comes to relationships maybe they've been vulnerable in the past and unfortunately they've been hurt that hurt has kind of been processed in a way where they are very defensive um they don't open up easily they don't commit easily um but I do sense though you walking away from them has triggered them to start thinking in a different manner. Um, I feel like they have been pondering on their selfishness. Yes, they might have won in the sense that they didn't get commitment, which is what they wanted. But at the end of the day, they didn't win because they're alone. You know what I'm saying? So even though your person was fighting to get their own agenda i feel that by you walking away from them it's brought them to the understanding that their agenda has left them hurt all right their agenda has left no one in a good place uh you've had to walk away they're sitting here missing you i feel like your person understands that they were a little immature okay um, maybe you haven't communicated with them for quite some time i don't know why i feel that uh, but i do sense that they've been struggling with 
pride okay they don't want to be rejected um they don't want you to keep walking so it's almost like they pick up the phone they want to start typing out a message and then this energy of but I can't be rejected again. I'll never be rejected. That kind of overcomes them. And then they put the phone down again. I'm going to have to get some clarifications here, guys. I'm just working with my intuition right now. Uh, but yeah, I do sense that there will be a moment, uh, possibly just out of the blue, where they drop this ego, they drop that hesitation, and they pick up the phone and communicate with you. For you, it's going to feel like it's out of the blue, but for them, remember, you've been on their mind a lot. They've been contemplating this uh, conversation. A lot of them are also contemplating how to break the ice, how to come back into your life. Um, they they want to be charming. They want to once again win at this situation. They are very fearful of rejection. Maybe you rejected them in the past or they've dealt with rejection. Um, that does seem to be playing on their ego a little bit. Uh, but as mentioned, they see the missed opportunity. They see their mistakes and they will be coming towards you almost like bam out of the blue. Um, they might even rock up at your house for some of you. Um, I don't know. Very strange energies here. I just feel like you how they approach you is not what you're going to be expecting with the tower or them approaching you will be a surprise because it's been so long um just something's going to be a bit of a shock or out of the blue and with that communication card it's an indication that you possibly haven't spoken to them in a while okay Whew. strange energies here let's clarify this nine of wands Yeah, I just, wow, perfect clarification. So it's that same energies where I just feel like you're dealing with someone who's been through a lot in their own personal life, possibly before they met you or within this relationship with you, they know that they've put you through a lot. And that is why they are so worried of being rejected. That is why he's moving or she, he or she is moving at a snail's pace. There's an energy of them desperately having something to say to you, some sort of information that they want to communicate with you. But as I've mentioned, that King of Swords is again, very mind uh, driven, very ego driven as well so your person gets stopped by the fears of rejection because their ego keeps stopping them okay but there will be a moment where they come to a clear decision to just break the ice because the connection well they feel that the connection between the two of you is strong um i feel like your person understands that they made a mistake by not taking this opportunity when they had it um they were moving slowly this person doesn't commit easily okay and I feel like maybe they didn't communicate that with you clearly. But they do feel that you're a missed opportunity. All right, we're at eight minutes. So I'm going to clarify these energies together because I still want to get into the light seers. Ooh, getting some beautiful clarification here, guys. Um, it's literally everything that I was feeling. You were dealing with someone who, I don't know if they were immature, if they were taking you for granted, if they weren't seeing things clearly, um, they were playing around. Okay. And they see it. They feel it now. They regret it dearly. The five of cups is the card of complete regret. Um, and the regret is stemming completely from you walking away from them. Um, this person understands that you are very nurturing and they see your potential. They see you as a relationship partner, a relationship type person, and that you have the potential to give them stability and be emotionally nurturing and vulnerable, which is something I feel, as mentioned, they struggle with. So they might be drawn to you because of that. Um, but once again, your person's coming towards you quite slowly because they're on a little bit of their own journey to maturity. Um, it's not gonna, it's not an overnight thing for a person to come from the five of swords to the emperor. It's a journey. Um, 
I believe we had the Knight of Pen uh, the Knight of Pentacles before, which is an indication it might be a slow journey, but at, at least this person is making some decisions that seem to be a little bit healthier in regards to being more stable, more reliable, more more of an investor. The emperor is literally the husband, the boyfriend, the father. Um, if you are the male in this situation, then you you standing in your power and not allowing this person to play their games is what's making them recognize that they need to be more of a queen of cups, more nurturing, more gentle, more loving, more in their feminine energies before they come towards you. But they are coming towards you because there's major regret here. Wow, crazy, crazy, crazy. This person cannot stop thinking about you. That energy I was picking up on intuitively is now being clarified by the cards. You have not left this person's mind. Um, they almost kind of feel trapped in their current circumstances. Um, a little bit of this energy, to be honest, is all them. Their ego seems to be a problem here, guys. Um, they process with their ego, and that's something that they need to recognize, and I feel that... That's also why things have been moving so slowly. This person hasn't healed something from their past, something that's triggered that ego-based energy. I don't think that this person works from ego in the sense that they are full of themselves. I feel like that ego is more of a protective ego. Um, like, how do I put it? I'm not going to be vulnerable. I already know who I am, what I am. I'm not going to change kind of energies but they don't recognize that they're working from pain from energies that haven't been healed and that's something that your person does seem to be coming to some sort of understanding it's slow but they're getting there okay they're getting there um it's it's a it's an ego death is what i'm picking up on here and and a need Sorry, I think my battery's full. My battery, my storage. Um, the video just cut, so I have no idea at what point it cut. Um, I hope I was finished with this card. Um, I'm now going to clarify the Tower and the Eight of Wands. I hope it didn't cut off too much, okay? I'll just put these two videos together. There's no way I'm starting again. Sorry about that, guys. So this is the communication that your person has for you. Ooh. <gasps> I love it when a reading comes together. Everything I'm picking up on intuitively, the cards are clarifying, okay? This person's communication is going to be very clear that they've either worked on themselves or they are now coming in to work with you, collaborate, put in the effort. They are going to flip this pentacle upside down, okay? Um, and if you don't believe me, remember the King of Wands was out in the past reading and now we've got the Queen of Wands. This person's come to a very strong in understanding that you could be a possible soulmate, a divine counterpart, a friend, just someone you can spend the rest of your life with. This person's feeling a lot of regret because they now understand that they they lost out on something that doesn't come through every day. The Six of Cups is literally divine love. It's from the universe. I don't know how else to put it. And your person understands that they... Your person understands, okay? They understand your value. They understand what you are offering and how much you are offering is now something that they are now wanting. Stability. Um... And I feel like that's what they're going to communicate with you. This person's going to very strongly try to prove that this time is the right time. This person's going to try to prove to you that this pentacle is upright. And a lot of these energies that they, that they were in, they've reconciled with. Um, do expect this person coming through to basically woo you um, and to prove to you that I can be your counterpart, okay? What a crazy little reading. I don't know if you want this person back. Um, I didn't pick up on any like cheater, liar, thief energies. I just picked up on someone who was a little immature and playing games. So it's workable. It's workable. Just hear them out. Make sure that they truly have released some things from the past and that they're not operating from this energy. Um, make sure that they're not winning you back to satisfy their own 
ego. Make sure that they're winning you back because they see you. If that makes sense. Hope that makes sense. All right, let's clarify this reading universe. Now I have no idea how far I am because these are two videos. I don't want it to go over 20 minutes. Um, thank you. Very slow moving human being here, guys. Um, Knight of Pentacles has come out twice, but a lot of your cards are repeating. So, wow. Pretty much a lot of these cards have repeated. Wow. Okay. So pretty much same energies, lots of regret. Your person understands that they've made a mistake and they are also once again missing you, feeling locked out in the cold, feeling abandoned. It's also an energy of knowing that they've locked themselves out. Um, some more of those energies are feeling that you are a missed opportunity and longing for you, missing you, okay? Um, they understand that they took a long time they understand that they move very slowly and they understand that they still are on a journey but the knight of pentacles is great because once he does arrive to his journey he instantly transforms into the king of pentacles he invests okay um a lot of these energies within them this change um is happening because of you you walking away from them triggered a pain within them it triggered an ending within them that made them truly truly want to change we've got the tower twice so there have been some major changes in your person okay there seems to be wow this is so beautiful. Um, you walking away has triggered this person to change. It's also triggered this person to see how much passion they hold for you. And a lot of that passion that they hold for you is helping them come to the right decision about this relationship. And for them, they understand, oh my God, guys, didn't I keep saying the Ace of Pentacles is, co is coming out upright in the future? And here it is upright. So whatever it is your person couldn't give you in the past, they've come to um, an understanding of clarity as to you, you are the person they want to invest with, okay? Um, because there's something beautiful and divine about this relationship. There's something very balanced. And I think that your person understands that you are their counterpart. Um, your person's coming through to correct their mistakes from the past, okay? Um, they've learned a very, very strict, deep, deep lesson. And for a lot of them, they've gone on a journey to release these self-serving energies and come towards you correct. Be mature, be loyal, be someone who invests uh, because they see that you are worth the investment, okay? Male or female really doesn't matter. Your grounding energy is peaks of joy. I hope that this reading isn't too long now or too short. I have no idea. I hope it's around 20 minutes. Um, your grounding energy is peaks of joy, but it's in reverse, guys. So let's see what that has to say. This will be for the month of October. Do you rely too heavily on your material achievements when you assess how happy you are? Perhaps you say, I'll be happy when I meet the right lover make the right amount of money reach my ideal weight and so on why wait to arrive at the perfect destination before allowing yourself to experience sheer delight this is a day for joy take a walk listen to the songbirds scratch a kitty's head play with a dog or look at a baby be in awe of life which leads to a true sense of bliss be alive, be grateful, and know that happiness is an inside job. Wow. So yeah, guys, a lot of this will need to be triggered by you. Um, you're just going to have to show this person how to treat you, okay? And I feel that a lot of it has been triggered by you. You've shown this person you're not willing to take their crap, and that's why they're coming towards you with this Ace of Pentacles upright. All right, guys, that's your reading. I hope it wasn't too long. Um, if it is, please let me know in the comments below. Like, share, subscribe, book a personal reading, or catch me on your next one. Good job, guys. Bye.